All right, I've been waiting a long time to do this video. I, uh, what's going on here? Oh, my hair is a little jacked up. Um, the truth in advertising. Man, I love nothing more than marketing and advertising and all that other stuff. And I'll tell you, when I, when I watch TV and I see some of these commercials, I say to myself, yeah, see, they shouldn't have said that or they shouldn't have done that because uh, they could have said this or that or the other thing. And there's some commercials that just make me insane. And I'm like, oh, that's so stupid. But anyway, so um, the one thing, you know, that there's there's always been that, that fast food thing, you know, where you go to McDonald's and you get a burger and it looks like someone stepped on it, you know, and it's, a, you know, it wrapped in a package and looks like it ran over a car and UPS truck or something. And, um, you know, you see the picture of it and you say to yourself, well, how can you get away with showing a picture of the burger that looks like that and then giving me what I get, you know, like that doesn't make any sense to me. And the only thing that I can think of is because nobody says anything about it. No one says like, nah, wrong answer. I want that burger. You know what I mean? I want, see that thing that, that's on that picture right there, right next to the register, like within inches of your face. That's what I want. I want it to look like that. So whatever kind of magic you guys have to do back there, do the magic, hit it with a wand, do whatever, and hand me that burger, you know? And for some reason... Um, there's not enough people who say that, you know, there really isn't. Um, it's the same thing with like, um, like basic things like drinks and stuff like that. Remember there was like a time where drinks were like, like lemon, lime, grape, cherry. Um, that was kind of pretty much it. You know, like maybe you would find like strawberry, but not very likely, you know, um, they don't do that anymore. Now it's like blue mountain crush Gatorade, You're like blue mountain crush. Now, first of all, I don't, I don't have any idea what flavor that is. Usually blue meant that it was blueberry. You know what I mean? Um, but Blue Mountain Crush, um, I, I challenge you, each and every one of you, I challenge you to a blind taste test. Go to the store, buy three, four, five bottles of Gatorade, put them in little, they don't even have to do that. Blindfold yourself or have someone blindfold you, mix up the bottles, take a sip of one, and you have to say what flavor it is. No, no I'm not talking about guests that is Blue Mountain Crush. I mean, I want you to say that's blueberry or that's orange or that's cherry or that's whatever. The, the actual flavors that you have in your mind or that is in society in itself, I want you to match those flavors with the known flavors of life, okay? I don't want you to say like, oh, that's morning mist. It's a, you know, it's a, a lighter shade of green, but it's a little bit kind of gray. And I'm not really sure what it is, but it's morning mist. And it's one of my favorites. That does that you can't morning mist me. That, that doesn't count. And you know what? You think that, um, whatchamacallit, um, Mountain Dew, they think they're, they're, they're slick by putting a little red dye in a green Mountain Dew and calling it Red Alert. And you watch a commercial, those horns going up, eh, 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 Red Alert, Red Alert. I can't just drink Mountain Dew. I need to stay up all night. So I take eh, 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 Red Alert. Come on, man. What's wrong with you people? Red Alert has just got red food dye in it. Get, 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 with, the, get with the program, man. It's, it's insane how people are getting away with being tricked into all of this garbage, all of this Blue Mountain Mist garbage. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. I don't want Blue Mountain Mist. I want Blueberry. I don't want Red Alert. I want Cherry. That's what I want. And that's what it should taste like. These dummies, oops, did I just do something? No, okay, I think I'm good. Um, these dummies, they're, they're in these um, scientific places, labs and whatever, and they're mixing a bunch of stuff together and they're putting blindfolds on. They're saying, what does it taste like? And they're like, eh, it doesn't taste like anything. They're like, is it sweet enough? Yeah, it's sweet enough. Do, can you put a color on it that's like a bright color that glows in the dark or that, you know, someone can see it from three aisles away and be like, whoa, what is that a bottle of? Holy smokes. It is like glowing. It might, it looks like antifreeze. I've got to drink that. i got to try me some of that. I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it, you know? So, um, um, so you're not tricking me with the Blue Mountain, the Blue Mountain Mist. I'm, ju I'm just not getting it. I'm walking right by that stuff because it's got to be filled with poison. If you can't tell me what natural flavor is in that thing, then it, it's just got to be chemicals and it's got to be, you know, bad for me. I'm, I'm not trying it, you know? Um, and listen, listen, I love celebrities. I love them. They, they do the thing. You know what I mean? They, they, whatever. But if anybody here gives one rat's ass about what Tom Brady is wearing, then you guys are idiots. 
because Tom Brady is six foot five and weighs two hundred and forty pounds or something like that. The guy's been the, the great, one of the greatest basketball, uh, one of the greatest football players the world has ever seen, and he's mad, married to a supermodel, and he's a multimillionaire. So if you think for one second because he wears Levi 501 jeans that if you put them on that you're going to have any affiliation or look or chance like Tom Brady does, then you are out of your goddamn mind because that's not how it works. But you put Tom Brady on a commercial and all of a sudden all of the goddamn knuckleheads from uh, Massachusetts all of a sudden think they all have to buy it because Tom Brady wears it. You know, I'm from New York City. I, I like Derek Jeter. I like what he's done with the team. I like all that other stuff. I don't give a rat's ass what kind of watch he wears. I don't care. Because I know if I put on Derek Jeter's watch, I'm not going to be Derek Jeter. So why is he even in the commercial? Who cares? Unless somebody said to me, Derek Jeter owns um, X, Y, and Z watches, and you could support Derek Jeter by buying X, Y, and Z watch. I still wouldn't do it, but I could see why people would say, I like Derek Jeter, I want the guy to make money, so I bought his watch because he owns it. I, I'm, not, I'm not doing that just because some celebrity is telling me to. I'm, I'm just not doing it. You know, you know, all these perfume people, all these women that are making perfume, Britney Spears is making perfume. Let that, let that just soak in for a second. Britney Spears, the, the pop singer, is making perfume. Well, I don't think she's actually making it, but it's being made for Britney Spears. Now, <laughs> check this out. There's only two ways that this works. Either one, it smells like Britney Spears, right? And which I don't know what that would smell like um, at all. But so let's say it smells like Britney Spears. First of all, who in their right mind wants to smell like Britney Spears? And the people who want to smell like Britney Spears, they have any idea what Britney Spears smells like? I, I would venture to say they don't. I would venture to say that they have no idea what Britney Spears smells like. So that's that's choice number one. And listen, if somebody wanted someone else to smell like Britney Spears, wouldn't it be husbands wanting their wives to smell like Britney Spears? So they would be the ones being like, oh, yeah, I just bought you this, um, you know, supermodel perfume. Hope you like it. And you're like, well, why would you do that? That's weird. Oh, no reason. Just thought you would like it. Thought it smells nice. The other one is, is that Britney Spears is crafting... This smell of smells, that is, she is molding this together, and you are saying to yourself, you know who I trust more than anybody else in the art of per the smell of perfumes? Britney Spears. She's the one. She's the one that I would pick. If I had to say to somebody, Britney, you know, I want to go out of the house, and I don't want to smell like like death warmed over. You know, I want to I wanna smell like, uh, I want people to be impressed by the way I smell. Well, how do I pull that off? And Britney says, well, listen, you know, I'm, I'm telling you, this is the way you do it. You mix this with this, you mix that with that, whatever, bam, this is called Britney Spears. How do you do? And now I smell like what Britney Spears thinks I should smell like, which is phenomenal or whatever, right? Isn't this the same crazy bitch who shaved her head and was beating up a car with a goddamn umbrella? What does she know about perfume? What does all of these celebrities, J Lo and this one and that, what do they know about? So the, they they just smell something. Oh yeah, that smells right. That you can put my name on that. It has nothing to do with these people. Stop being fooled by people that you may like because they sing "Living in Vida Loca" and then all of a sudden now you feel like you got to be running around in their running shoes. Like, it doesn't make any goddamn sense. It literally doesn't make sense. Now, what does make sense is that Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player who ever lived, arguably, of course, because some people think otherwise. Now, if Michael Jordan was saying, this is the shoes that I did to, to win all these championships, these are the shoes that I wore, and people are like, well, I want to be like Mike, and they say, like, he actually wore these. Yeah, they leave out the part that he's six foot six and can jump out of a goddamn gym. They leave that part out. But you want to be like Mike and wear his sneakers? Go ahead. I could see the logic in that because he's a basketball player. He's selling basketball shoes. That kind of makes sense. A little bit. Derek Jeter. He's one of the greatest shortstops the world has ever seen. He sells watches. What? Britney Spears. She sings Oops, I Did It Again and was a teen heartthrob for a bunch of years and now does a show in Vegas. You know what she should make? Perfume. Makes perfect sense. What? Oh, the guy who's six foot five, two hundred and forty pounds, with a rocket laser arm, who's won more championships than any any quarterback ever on the history of the world. You know what we should do? We should buy his jeans. What? Does he even wear jeans on the on the on the field? I venture to say he doesn't. 
So why are we being tricked by all this ridiculousness? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. And listen to me. And listen to me closely when I tell you this. Because hopefully advertisers will listen to this. I'm not, I'm not fooled by you. I am not fooled by you. And guess what you're not going to do anymore? You're not going to change a goddamn color wheel on me. You're just not going to do it. You're not going to do it. Once again, I challenge you all. Go online and go and 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 go to purchase a bicycle. Go to purchase a a a uh, phone case. Go to purchase a, a shirt or a hat or a bell or a whistle or whatever the hell you want to buy that comes in multiple colors. Right? On those multiple colors, you will not, you will not find that you can get this in black, white, green, gray, orange, yellow. You're not going to find that. Oh no 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 no. You want a red goddamn whistle? You're going to buy it in Chipotle. Oh, Chipotle? Chipotle? Whatever the hell the word is. That's the color you're going to buy. You want yellow? You're going to buy it in Canary. That's that's right. You're going to buy a goddamn Canary whistle or a Canary belt or a Canary whatever. I was stunned to find out that orange was actually orange. And I was a little bit disappointed because when you name gray sesame and black is stealth ink. Green? I'll give you a second. Think about it. What would green be? Green be grass. Green be money. Green be... What would green be? Wasabi. Wasabi. That's the color green now. Is wasabi. So that makes perfect sense, right? But orange was just orange. So I, I kind of felt like, eh, you know, uh, hmm, could have done a little bit better than that. You know, me personally, I would have said pumpkin spice or something like that. I would have, I would have said orange was was Halloween Halloween apple or something. You know, like you got you come a little bit, you know, little little trickly, little you know, just slide in that little, you know, fool you think I'm going one way and I'm gonna go another. You know, sometimes you got to do that. But all of this is just smoke and mirrors. It's all trickery. It's all trying to fool you because nobody wants to buy. You want to buy a white shirt with black writing? Guess what that is? Quick. Panda. I bet you aren't going to go with Panda, are you? Because I tell you, I wasn't. I literally was clicking through these colors because I couldn't guess what the next one was going to be. I was like, there is no way they're going... Well, yellow was pretty obvious. It's going to be Canary, right? Yeah, of course. Because what else could it be, you know? So here we are in a world that doesn't make any sense. Here we are where you can't buy a shirt by just saying, I want a green shirt. And it has to be some fancy schmancy, you know, whatever. It can't just be this five shades of green. So they have green shade one, two, three, four, five. It has to be mint and chocolate ivory and whatever as it goes up the scale of these colors that never become actual green. Emerald and all this other kind of craziness. Sapphire. That's blue. Blue is sapphire. And I will tell you this as God is a witness. I looked up, I, I, when I clicked on Sapphire, the color didn't automatically come up on, on like the item. It just said Sapphire. And I said to myself, Sapphire? What color is Sapphire? Is Sapphire like opaque? No. Sapphire is red? No. I don't have any idea. And then the item popped up because I have slow internet. And it said, uh, and it showed that it was blue. I'm like, Sapphire? Oh, that's right. It's blue. So you, you, you're tricking me. You're tricking my mind into thinking it's one thing when it really isn't. So I'm telling you, the truth in advertising. I want people to be honest and forthright on their advertising. I, I, I want you guys to watch As Seen on TV, anything As Seen on, on TV, and find the hook, find the sneaky thing, find the lie in that, right? I'll give you a, just a real quick example. They have this spinning mop, right? You, 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 slosh it into the, you, you slosh it into the thing, you do the spinning mop thing, you throw it onto the ground, you swab up your stuff, and it's, it's phenomenal. It's one of the greatest um, mops that they claim that's ever lived on the face of the earth. And you can get not just one, but two of them for $9.99. So obviously, it's a phenomenal deal. I mean, it's just insane. So this person goes and uh, starts pouring coffee grinds on the ground. Then the guy cracks two eggs and splashes that on the ground. And then he does like a, a drizzle of like chocolate syrup. And he's like, never in the history, and he's like swabbing in the, in the bucket, never in the history of a mop have you ever seen. And before the guy took the thing out of the mop, I said, well, how in the hell is he going to do this? Because like, you, how are you going to pick up the eggshells? You know what I mean? Like, that's all I was thinking about. I wasn't thinking about the rest of the stuff. I was like, how are you going to pick physically 
pick up the eggshells with a mop unless this thing has like some kind of like gripping thing on it that like grips all the trash up or whatever and then you swab up all the liquid stuff so i was very curious on how he was going to do it so the guy swabs away and shows ta-da but i'm like whoa 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 hold on a second you never actually showed where the eggshells went you know that all this guy did was he spun them up he put it on top of all this stuff and pushed it out of the frame of the the camera right just pushed it out and the area that the the stuff was yeah it was clean but he just he just pushed it in out of the camera view so it's still sitting on the floor but only seven inches away and he goes, aha, look at that. And he's leaning on the mop and all that other stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, how many millions of people are like, wow, oh my goodness, how did he, this guy, that's, I got to buy not one of these, but I got to buy two of these. I have to do it. And now there's a thing that just reminded me, there's a thing that used to say, buy one, but wait, there's more, buy one, and you get the second one free, Right? And then it went from buy one and get the second one, just pay shipping and handling or separate shipping and handling, which is stupid. I don't know why that is if they just send them to you in the same box. Now they have a thing that says buy one and get the second one free, just pay a separate fee. Just pay a separate fee, then I'm paying for the other one too. That's not free. And then, you know, just a separate fee, a separate fee of what? The first one's $9.99, the second one's going to be a separate fee of what? $9.99? And one time I called one of these places and I said, I don't want, I don't want to, I just want one of them. And they're like, no, you can't do that. I'm like, oh yes, I can. Cause I'm, I'm calling you and I just want to buy one of these things. I don't want the second one free. Or I have no use for a second one. I don't want to pay separate shipping and handling. I don't want to pay another fee. I don't want none of that stuff. I just want one at this one price. And they said, well, they're already packaged together. So they would send, if they sent it to you, there'd be two in the box. So I said, well, how is that even possible? Because if you're sending me two, then I'd be paying that one shipping fee, the shipping fee of the original one. So why would I be getting a second one for free except pay separate shipping when it's the same goddamn shipping fee? And I, I quickly realized, aha, y'all are trying to scam me. Y'all are trying to scam me in advertising and marketing and all this other stuff, but it's not going to work because I am smarter than your average bear. And I'm able to figure out a lot of this stuff by watching it. So a challenge to each and every one of you. Watch these things. Pay attention to what's going on. See these ways that they're trying to advertise to you and market to you and all this other stuff. And don't be fooled by it. I'm interested on in how many fake things that you can find out there. Where you're like, yeah, I walk by a bakery and it smells like chocolate chip cookies. I walk in and I find out they don't make them there. They um, package them up somewhere else. They sell them. So I said to the lady, where does the smell come from? She goes, oh, we pump it out into the street a smell of chocolate chip cookies so people come in and buy our cookies. Oh, okay. I literally went out to my car and was going to grab a gallon of gasoline and burn the place to the ground. But my wife said, you know, listen, slow down. You know, and I said, nope, nope, because they're scamming. They're scamming people and they're, they're, it's, it's dishonest and it's not good business. It's not the way you do things. Don't blow, don't, don't, don't blow chocolate chip cookie smoke in the face. Don't do it. Don't do it because I'm expecting somebody back there to be making chocolate chip cookies. That's just how this all works. Don't you see? That's how this works. You cannot mess up the matrix. You cannot screw it all up. Just have truth in advertising. Be honest. I'll buy you chocolate chip cookies. I promise I will if you're back there cooking chocolate chip cookies. But don't scam me. Don't lie to me. Don't hit me with the Blue Mountain Mist. Don't hit me with the, you know, Panda um, stuff. I don't care what bread... Uh, whatever the hell his name is doing, or Britney Spears or anybody else. I could, could not care less. Have truth in advertising, and I'll buy all your stuff. Thank you.